Greetings citizens of the world. This is Anonymous. The COVID-19 coronavirus has quickly spread to nearly every corner of the planet in just a few months, and the people of the world don't seem to be taking things very seriously until it ends up in their own backyard. The whole world has had at least two months to prepare for this, but many people ignored the situation, thinking that it would remain in China and would never have an impact on their personal lives. As quarantines were imposed in China, with cities of millions on lockdown, Westerners condemned the heavy-handed tactics of the Chinese government, and assured themselves that nothing like that could ever happen in their home country. In just a few short months, the situation has changed rapidly, and drastically, with researchers and epidemiologists around the world warning that we could be in for the most destructive pandemic since the influenza outbreak of 1918, which killed between 30 and 50 million people over two years and infected roughly 27% of the world's population. As citizens in the West slowly come to grips with the gravity of the situation they are facing, their governments aren't behaving much differently than China. In fact, the World Health Organization has praised China's response to the crisis, saying that the country has set a new standard for outbreak response, and urging other countries to follow its lead in fighting the outbreak. This week, Italy has taken this advice and has placed the entire country of 60 million people on quarantine. People have been ordered to stay indoors throughout the entire country, and large gatherings of any kind have been banned. Even smaller gatherings like funerals have also been banned. At least 50 people in Sicily are facing serious criminal charges after breaking the quarantine order for having a funeral with a loved one. There is also concern that people inside the Italian quarantine zone are being left to fend for themselves. Luca Franzesi, the brother of a 47-year-old woman who died at home, is now trapped in the house with her, and has waited for over a day for authorities to come and help him. He posted a terrifying video to social media pleading with authorities to come and help him. Buonasera a tutti. Sono arrivato al punto di fare questo video messaggio per il bene dell'Italia, per il bene di Napoli. Ieri è deceduta mia sorella, probabilmente per il virus del Co-19. Sto aspettando risposte dalle istituzioni da ieri sera. Nessuno si è fatto avanti. Questo video è molto forte, vi prego di non farlo vedere ai bambini e agli anziani. Io sono costretto con tutto il dolore a combattere questa situazione. Io ho mia sorella nel letto, morta. Non so cosa devo fare. Non posso darle l'onoranza che merita, perché le istituzioni mi hanno abbandonato. Ho contattato chiunque, al momento non faccio nomi. Nessuno mi ha saputo dare una risposta. Sto in attesa della risposta del Cutugno dal 118 perché ieri sera sotto mia forzata volontà l'ho fatta fare il tampone perché non lo volevano fare a me il tampone è stato negato hanno detto devono sapere prima se lei era infetta e poi magari lo fanno a me io mi sono messo in auto quarantena oggi potrei andare dappertutto a diffondere il virus se ce l'ho perché io a mia sorella per tenerla in vita gli ho fatto la respirazione bocca a bocca e nessuno se ne è fregato nessuno, le istituzioni nessuno sta chiamando la prima è stato il mio medico curante il medico curante di mia sorella che se ne è fregata non è venuto a casa a controllarla mia sorella aveva una forma di epilessia era un soggetto a rischio e se ne sono fregati tutti. Ragazzi, siamo rovinati, l'Italia ci ha abbandonato. Diamoci forza l'uno con l'altro, vi prego di diffondere questo video dappertutto. Rendiamolo virale. Io voglio una risposta. As more people are getting tested in Europe and the United States, it is becoming apparent that this virus gained a foothold on every continent, aside from Antarctica, of course, and so other western countries are now starting to think about how they can quarantine their own populations. In the US, where citizens insisted that something like this could never happen on American soil, the National Guard was called to a region of New York that has become a new epicenter for the virus on the East Coast. We also have some breaking news on efforts to contain the coronavirus in a city hit hard. New Rochelle, New York, just north of New York City. Joining me now is NBC News correspondent Ron Allen. Ron, what can you tell us? I understand Governor Cuomo just made some news. He did, Chris. He's calling in the National Guard to help set up what's called a containment area around a hot spot, a cluster. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo insists that the National Guard is only there to help deliver supplies and clean up, but the presence of military troops certainly has many local residents on edge. It was also reported that Cuomo was using prison labor to make large volumes of hand sanitizer to make up for the recent shortage, so it is understandable if some citizens suspect veiled threats behind his flowery promises.
New Rochelle is a particular problem. It is uh, what they call a cluster. The numbers have been going up. The numbers continue to go up. The numbers are going up unabated. Uh, and we do need a special uh, public health strategy for New Rochelle. What we are going to do is focus on an area, concentric circle, around the situs of the majority of the cases in New Rochelle. Much of the transmission tends to happen on a geographic basis. Uh, kids go to school, kids go to a store, parents go to a store, parents walk down the block, shake hands with someone, parent is walking the dog, meets somebody, says hello, has a conversation. Remember how this spreads, can spread uh, from uh, a, re it's a respiratory illness, droplets of a sneeze, a cough, it's on somebody's hand, you shake hands, uh, now you have an issue. So containment strategies focus on geographic areas. It was also announced that Georgia, in the southern United States, will be turning a portion of a state park into a quarantine zone for coronavirus patients. Shortly after the virus arrived in Georgia, the state's governor, Brian Kemp, announced that state officials were preparing Hard Labor Creek State Park in Morgan County for isolating and monitoring patients who may have been exposed to the disease caused by the coronavirus. This was intended to assure residents that something was being done to prepare, but this was not welcome news to some citizens, because getting quarantined in an isolated section of a place called Hard Labor Creek sounds like a straight-up horror movie. However, there are different approaches that can be taken, but people need to actually take this virus seriously and practice extreme social distancing to slow the spread of the illness. As the South China Morning Post noted in a recent column, South Korea has managed to handle the virus extremely well without citywide lockdowns, by making testing and medical care as available as possible, and encouraging safe social distancing practices among citizens. We need to stay home as much as possible and avoid public spaces as much as possible until this blows over, and cancel large events voluntarily, of our own free will. These actions will help us to prevent the spread of the virus and it will leave authorities with no excuses to crack down on the population in the name of public safety. Will others follow their lessons? It doesn't look they will. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.